All right, so in this video, we will cover what is Linux along with some interesting fact about uh, Linux as well as Unix. So watch till the end. And let's get started with the simplest definition of Linux. It is an open source operating system inspired by Unix. Regarding what is Unix, we will cover that too in this session only. And regarding what is an operating system. So an OS or operating system is the software that sits between you and your computer's hardware. It manages everything like your task, etc., activity, like your files, your application, software, your memory, even your keyboard and screen. So whatever you function or work, it is just because of operating system. Linux is popular and well known for its security, flexibility, reliability and performance. Similar to other operating system like uh, Windows, Mac OS, uh, you can also set up and install uh, Linux in your personal laptop, desktop, etc. But uh, in real life, uh, it is most widely used in big servers and uh, di different big tech companies for uh, application deployment and hosting website, etc. Let's now talk about Unix because uh, Linux is inspired by Unix. So let's understand what is Unix as well. Unix is a powerful multi-user, multitasking operating system developed in 1970s at AT&T and it laid the design foundation for many modern operating systems, including Linux, Mac OS, etc. Okay, that is the reason uh, when we called Linux is inspired by Unix. Okay, now there is a question, is there an OS called Unix today? If we can install or use the Unix operating system? So answer is no, actually, uh, in today's market, there is no such operating system called Unix. So Unix was started as a real operating system but today's it lives on through its certified version like mac os and unix like system like linux now let's uh, quickly understand the basic difference between linux versus unix so unix is a closed source licensed os family used in the commercial system so it is a paid and closed source i mean you can't use or modify the code uh, for the Unix. However, Linux is a free open source Unix like operating system used widely around the world. So that's why we called Linux as Unix like because it is not exactly using the Unix code actually, but it is only following the design principles and the philosophy of the Unix. And you can also modify and uh, use the Linux code because it is a free and open source. And little bit history. So Linux was created by Linus Torvald in 1991. The name Linux come from Linus plus Unix. Okay, now here is an interesting point that Linux is not an operating system. But why I am saying this? Because in the beginning of the video, I said Linux is an operating system. Now I am saying it is not an operating system. So let me clarify this. And you, this is very important for you to understand as well. Linux is not an operating system, but it is an open source kernel. Okay, now what is the kernel? A kernel is the core part of an operating system, managing system resources and communication between hardware and software. So it is kind of, you can say, the main component or the heart of an operating system. To better understand the concept of Linux kernel, think of the Linux kernel as an engine of the car by itself. It is powerful but not useful until you build a car around it. And also, interesting fact, I mean similar to Linux, it is a free and open source. I mean, this engine is created and any company can use this engine to build a car. So different companies came in, used this engine to build a car of their own version, added their own types of features, different tools, look and feels different and they have given them a different name like Linux Ubuntu, Linux CentOS and all which we call as Linux distribution. So Linux distributions or which we also call as distros, an operating system made from software collection which includes the Linux kernel and often a package management system. Some popular names you may uh, heard of is Ubuntu, Red Hat, CentOS etc. Now let's see some key features uh, about uh, Linux. It is an open source, uh, which means source code is freely available and can be modified. Multi-user, multiple user can access system resource at the same time. Multitasking, 
can run multiple tasks at a time security strong security features and regular updates portability can run on various hardware platforms now let's talk about the market demand uh, for the linux because uh, we should know like why we are learning the linux and should we learn linux in 2025 let's say okay so if we talk about the different roles in the market including system admin devops cloud architect software developers network engineers cyber security testing development and support in in so many different roles you will see uh, you know the existence of the linux servers and you may have to you know work in linux based uh, environment so it's better to have these skills uh, as a add on so at least the basic basic understanding and basic working and basics linux commands will be helpful and if we talk about the industry adoption many companies from tech giants like google facebook amazon to financial institution and healthcare providers rely on linux for their it infrastructure now if you are planning to learn skills so how and where to start so recommendation for the beginners okay i personally recommend you can start with either ubuntu uh, I mean, again, this is a Linux distribution, real OS, okay, or CentOS. But I personally uh, uh, use CentOS a lot because it is much closer uh, to Red Hat, uh, which is a community version of Red Hat Enterprise. So Red Hat is an enterprise server, so which most of the companies are using in their servers. And CentOS is the community version of that. So if you work and practice on the CentOS, so... Uh, working on and understanding the Red Hat distribution will be very helpful. So you can either start with CentOS or Ubuntu. Alright, so that's all about this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.